Hey everybody, this is Reefier on, and today we're gonna be playing some more Harvester. Um, I actually can't see what the heck my webcam is doing, so and a bird just hit my window. <laughs> uh, anyway, I put the camera on this side. Uh, actually, it's probably on that side for you guys. But anyway, um, it's just because I think more happens in this game on that side than the other side. So I don't know. Let's see. We gotta. We gotta load up anyway. We were on day two, I think. Okay, um, shelf, do I have anything in my inventory? Yes, I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory, my derpy face. <laughs> Bookshelf, any. Oh, Mom, I think there's something wrong with Dad. Hello, dear. How are you today? Terrible. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Shut up about Jimmy. Hey baby, how's it going? Newborn is sleeping, okay. Fireman Sparky Super Foamy Fire Extinguisher. <laughs> uh, uh, I love Indian innuendos. Okay, I don't even know what we're doing today, so. Yo, Jimmy! Hey, did you ever find any- Yeah, I did. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? Yeah, really, what could you give You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? No. Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Ooh. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Uh, okay. Swell! Here's the keys to the broom closet at Gein Memorial. That's where they meet every day. About 3.45, soon as everyone has gone home. Sometimes I hide in there beforehand. daddy -o, I see some stuff that's real nasty. Take it from me. You made a good swap. See you later, alligator. Why is everybody in this town, even like the kids, are, are, like sexually confused? <laughs> uh, let, let's go try to catch them red-handed then. I don't know what time it is. Door's locked. I got keys for that. Whoa, what's going on here? Ooh. You're huh? busted. What? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? They'll think nothing. You little bastard. You have really? no proof of your allegation. And we'll be sure to avoid this broom closet in the future. Come, Miss Whaley. Not likely now. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> mm, a small sticker on the glass reads, Sorry for the delay of making this alarm active big guy spark. Dang it. Okay, well that ultimately got nothing except for a laugh out of me. Um, I also hope my mic's not in the picture that you guys can see. Sorry if it is, I can't tell. <laughs> Edna! Is that... Bye bye. Okay. I can't talk now. The... Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll go Stop talk by to Dingling. My uh, bride to be. Come here, dingling. Oh no, wait, you're the weirdo that was talking about penises last time. I'm gonna go. What's up, I dude? take it you wish to be initiated into the mysteries of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Uh, okay. Very well. Know then that securing the application was but the first step on your road to enlightenment. Okay. Now, must complete a series of tasks to prove your worthiness as an initiate. What kind of tasks? Minor pranks, really. Hmm. Nothing overly difficult. More tests of wit than prowess. But to complete them, you must, if you wish to enter <laughs> these walls. Did you just turn into Yoda there for a second? I'll bet. What have you got in mind? There 
is in harvest a man named Mr. Johnson. He owns a tucker. It is his pride and joy. I should like you to put a scratch in it. A scratch? That's all? As I said, a minor prank. Mind you, you are not to damage the vehicle. Merely put a single scratch in it. Once you have done so, return here, and I shall give you your next task. Okay, I don't understand. Okay. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune-up. I'll talk to you later. Uh, okay. Bye now. <laughs> Just to climb in. No, wait, I didn't mean to exit. Uh, well, that didn't work. Pen on the turkey doesn't work. Use the shovel on the tucker. Hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Use the key on it. You rotten son of a bitch, 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 Sheriff! <laughs> Oh no! Run! Run away! Oh, oh, he's kicking the crap out of me! Punch him! Punch that fat sack crap! Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna die! Look at all this blood! Yeah. Come close! That's fine! I'm gonna kick you in the face! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I died! Yeah. Oh, he hit me in the dance. Yeah, go on. Go on, Steve. Remember your training. Just avoid all the crowd shots he's throwing your way. Yeah. Scratch this. Uh oh. Ah, dang it, I got arrested. You're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Johnson, Steve. I, I th Not the smartest thing you've ever done. Killing a man in broad daylight while he's sitting on his porch. <laughs> yeah. Somebody help me! Am I just gonna get executed want right from now? Me? Too late for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? Indeed it is, Sheriff. Answers may only be found in the lodge. And you must be alive to seek them. Ah, dang it. No! My brain! <laughs> oh, my fruit punch. I had it stored in my mouth. Use oh man! Oh wait, maybe I could use that on the the turnkey. That oral loop stuff. That might work. Said it was stuck, so. Okay, oral lube. Yeah. Take that with me. Oh man! Sweet. Now I can go down into the sewers. I just gotta find a sewer to go down. What? I paused to send a harvest. Didn't do this when I was wandering around before. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Oh no! The guy took his car. Yeah. Let's go to the sewers, man. Going through valley, a coat of moisture has formed along the surface. Oh, um, I do have tampons. Maybe I can use that to dry it out. Okay. No. 
I don't know, let's go to the cemetery at night. What's the worst that could happen? What the heck are you doing? What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? I'm burying our cat. She passed away and I'm burying her. Go away and mind your own business. Then, where's the cat? I... I left her at home. Now leave me alone! Are you sure about that? This kind of stuff can come... Matches prepared especially Okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Don't know what he was doing there. I don't know if I really want to know what he was doing there. Now oh, the morgue is closed. Okay, uh, what about the hotel? Since when do hotels close down at night? Yeah, really. No vacancy. Sheriff. Police station's closed. Dang it. I know you fried me a little while ago, Sheriff, but I'm back. Is the fire department also closed? No. What the heck? <laughs> what are you doing Jeez. there, buddy? What are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. You just hang out here. All the time. I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter. Because you'll be dead. Dead? Have uh... you gotten your lodge application in yet? Yeah. Good. You may survive yet. Thanks. Hey, buddy. What the heck? What's going on? What did I do? Why did I get arrested this time? I didn't kill anybody this time. This is your first arrest, Steve. You just remember. We've got a three strikes, you're out. Uh. Okay, I am weirded out. <laughs> I don't know what I did right or what I did wrong. I got a kiss from the sheriff. I'm gonna save my game. Ah, there we go. Use a shovel on the corroded wall, not on this. What does that do? Okay. This is weird. Examine cans, empty oil cans, litter the floor. Oh, okay, this is like... Oil pan, okay. Got it, this is like where you put... Yeah. Mr. Johnson's prized possession. Let's grab some cool stuff out of here. Um, can I take the hammer? No. Is there anything I can take? What? Faded poster is a 1948 Sexiest Tomboy Award. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Okay, so I guess we're in Texas. I've been to Texas a couple times. It ain't that bad. Okay, there has to be something here. Flashlight is missing batteries. I'll take that built screwdriver though. Okay. Ooh, 
So you take that. Take this. So I got a rusty pitchfork. I'll take the dolly. <laughs> That'll be useful. Okay, now what do I need to do to his car? Use the Phillips screwdriver on it. Did it! <laughs> okay. Just use the shovel on it and stick it inside of his car. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Make sure he knows we did it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did it, Lodge Guy. Are you proud of me? Maybe. Lodge Guy, I did it. So, you have completed your first task. Yeah. Now that you've scratched the tucker, you may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. Uh, okay. Very well then. Use whatever means necessary, but bring the cloth to me here. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I, d I don't care. Oh, I went to sleep. Okay. Uh, yeah, aren't there gonna be anything new in any of these? Hey, baby. Hello, dear. By hey, the way, Mom. I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's living. Seems someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. Oh, if he no. finds out who, they'll be heck to pay. Edna's uh, daughter Karen so. has disappeared. What? Karen was playing outside as Edna closed the diner, and that's the last anyone saw of her. Did she get lost or did someone abduct her? I have the her? foggiest idea. All I know is she went missing last night. But Steve, this isn't something you want to be concerned with. Trust me. You should be concentrating on joining the Lodge. Isn't a lost child everyone's concern? Then let everyone worry about it. This is nothing but a waste of time for you. If you spend your time in Harvest looking for Karen, you'll regret it. My time in Harvest? You talk like I'm a visitor, Mom. Don't be silly, dear. <sighs> okay. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Shut up about Jimmy. I don't care about Jimmy. Jimmy's... A Sack of crap. <laughs> Nobody likes him. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that Mr. Potsdale had something to do with the little girl's disappearance. Yeah, let's see what he actually buried here. Hey, Karen! Thank God I found you. Are you alright, Karen? I want to go home. Could you take me to my mommy's store? Or to the policeman? Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. He won't do anything, I promise. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please. Can you tell me your address, okay. honey? I don't know. Just take me to the store or the policeman. Please. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh. Yeah, kid, I'll take you. Bye. Bye bye. Come on, kid. Let's go. Karen scurries off ahead of you. Okay. 
Let's go see your mom. And then I'm gonna go pay Mr. Potsdale a visit, and he's not gonna like it very much. It'll involve a shovel in his face. Oh my god! Karen! Thank god! What happened? Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Thank you, Steve. Thank you from both of us. Here. Here's the reward money. Take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. Yeah, okay. Bye, bye. Bye bye, Karen. My foot and Mr. Potsdale's ass have an arrangement. I'm here to see it through. Did you say hello to your f It's very important! I could use some good. You molested Carrie and buried her alive. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, Mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! Why are you covering it's up It's the truth. Him? That's why. And I think you'd better be going, young man, before I call your mother and tell on you. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratched tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Yeah. I kind of want to kill him. But he might be important to the story or something. I don't know. Let's see how you're doing. Hey, buddy, what's going some on? Some rotten son of a bitch scratched my car. My Tucker, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks. If Sorry, I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beep up the patrols, but what does he care about? Nobody cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll make them care. I'll make them care. <laughs> Good work rescuing. Course, wow, you just had my play shit. with Edna. But I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my. Uh, yeah. Bye now. You're the one calling yourself a limp dick fat boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I gotta do something at the fire station. I gotta go steal bolts of cloth or something. Sorry, Steve. I okay, uh, let me just uh, save my game real quick so I don't get arrested and almost molested by the sheriff again. Oh wait, uh, I have a Phillips screwdriver. So this is a Phillips lock. In most security devices, this is usually more than one trap to stop a tree. I'm gonna get arrested for breaking into my own house. This is your second arrest. You what? Okay. Yeah, Debbie Loom is his favorite spot. He just let me have all my stuff. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna flush my way to freedom. <laughs> yeah. I dismantled the sink. Now it's time to pour stuff down it. Okay. Oh man. Well that didn't work. Okay. Now maybe I gotta pop this pipe apart too. Well that didn't work. Well that didn't Damn work. It. Well that did well that didn't work. Yeah. I'll disassemble everything. Now I have a broken cut and a you quickly assemble a strange contraption. This could be useful for escaping the jail. 
what did I make? Sink cot contraption? If the sheriff or deputy were to walk through the door, they'd be in for an unbearable or rather unrememberable surprise. <laughs> Yo, sheriff, let me let me out of here. Ah, Damn it. it! Damn it! Well, that didn't. Well, that didn't oh, work, man. Yeah, do this, old. <laughs> Looks like somebody outsmarted you. Also, I got arrested for breaking into my own house. So, I think I got outsmarted by somebody too. Okay, so I got an idea. Maybe I can get the fireman's attention by doing this. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Don't want to go to jail for a third time. Let's go to the fire station. Yeah, okay, look. Fire axe. Okay, I will take that. Um, ladder, I will take that too. Okay, do I... Is it gonna be like night now? No. Oh yeah, I can use the ladder to get up here. Uh, okay. Dim light shines up through glass skylight. Okay. Looks pretty good. Oh! Shit! Oh, well. Well, I did. Punch it! Punch it in the face! I probably should have equipped a weapon. <laughs> I'm still just as derpy as ever, so I look like I'm fine. Yeah, I should have equipped the fire axe. Sarcophagus? Okay. What's inside of it? There's nothing inside of it. Well, I found something. Examine the security alarm, okay. I've been sitting around here for ever. Okay, now I think I go outside and unscrew the hinges so that alarm doesn't come on so I don't go to jail for the third time and then get another strike. I've been sitting around here for like literally half an hour just clicking on stuff and hoping it would work. Apparently it's dolly on mahogany shelves. Yeah, it's going in the window. Dead! Dead! What the? What the hell are you guys into? Examine the sex toys? <laughs> just be like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Examine sex toys, exotic, kinky, love equipment? No! Leave that there! If any of it turns up missing. What? Marv, what's going on in there? Go! Go! No! Leave that there! Okay. Go! Hold on, uh, I need you to sign this permission slip. I need some meat, and Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Why is Good there blood everywhere? Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Go, Before son. Before she comes back. the heck? Why? Why is there all this stuff here? A screenshot from the movie Rosie's Palm meets Rosie's Cheeks. <laughs> the photograph is a constant torture for poor old dad. What about this thing? No! Yeah, okay. Go! I'm gonna leave now. Sorry, dad, you're on your own. Mom is freaky and kinky, and uh, I guess you guys are into that. Honestly, it just freaks me out. 
Okay, uh... Look, I got a permission slip. So, get some meat. your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? The psychotic bitch has it. Sliced a Good, you're glad to hear it. Here's your meat, son. You run along now. A new shipment of animals has come in, and it's time to start cutting. Okay, why are you just okay with that? Just break into here real quick. Shut up, dog. Here. To have some meat. Uh, I think I should save again. I'm gonna save on a, on a new thingy though. ASDF, that sounds fine to me. Still here. Where? Yes. Good. What do I do in here? There's like no cloth just in here. I need to get a bolt of cloth somehow. Let's just light this whole place on fire. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, man. Okay. Well, that didn't, well, that didn't work. Oh, man. All right. Oh, okay, that's it. Using the ladder, you climb up and retrieve a piece of cloth from the wall light. Woo! So, I got, I got the piece of cloth. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think we're further in the game. I honestly don't know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this has been more of Harvester, the freaky weird game that makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have been having a good day, keep on having a good day. If you guys have been having a bad day, I hope this video made your day a little bit better. I hope to see all of you guys next time. Until then, stay cool, and bye.